In ways, Silt looks even more terrifying than a title like Limbo or even Inside, guys. This title could be the defining, you know, 2D puzzle adventure horror title, guys, for this generation of, you know, PC games like this. Um, I really feel that Limbo started this incredible, you know, genre for horror fans um, for the 2D, you know, puzzles, but also, you know, having so many horror elements to it. I think that this could very well, being Silt, could really raise the bar on that in a number of ways. We won't know until we get our full hands-on, you know, experience with this title, but I think that there's a really good chance. And I want to talk, guys, about how this terrifying experience could elevate and hopefully does what Limbo started and the folks over at Play Dead were able to build over there. So with that being said, guys, in an article... Coming to us from Christian Donlin of Eurogamer, Silt is one of those great Robert McFarlane words. I want to lift it to my ear in a quiet room and close my eyes so I can hear those sands shifting tiny rocks brushing one against another. There's beauty to it, deep time and nature's endless grinding patience. But there's a horror in that very patience. This world would take a, br a billion gentle years to bury you completely. Silt seems aware of this. The horror and beauty of certain words, the poetry of them. This is an adventure that starts with a poem in short. There are beasts out there under the waves and you need to collect their eyes. But the second time I played through, I wondered, poem or incantation? Is there a difference? Just what is being summoned here? You are a, a lithe diver with the classic brass helmet. Flippers slightly too long. Body slightly too slim. I suspect what is under all that brass is not entirely human. And I'm quickly proved right. As you move about the two-dimensional world deep under the ocean, the murk rendered in sooty, throbbing, bunal grays and blacks, you can send out a sizzling beam of lightning, threading it through the bubbles to possess any nearby creatures. Little fish might get through gaps. Bigger fish might be able to bite through uh, reeds blocking your path. Sharky things might ram blocks and smash them. So just hearing the way he's explaining it, guys, this title looks pretty terrifying to say the least. And I love when he says that the diver may not be fully human, may not be human at all. And I think that there's definitely a creative decision there that, you know, obviously the, the, the developers decided to kind of go in this direction with this type of main character. It's very interesting, guys, but uh, breaking it down in that way, oh, it definitely sounds like something special. So chaining these possessions together seems to be a lot of fun here, seeing how far you can move from your little diver and then somehow oxbow back to them bearing a little of progress. But like Limbo, a game to which Silt, uh, Silt invites very superficial comparisons, this is a puzzle game that never feels like a puzzle game. Underwater, so far from the surface, it feels like life and death. You have, as a Wall Street uh, type might put it, a serious position in the market. And that's an interesting concept, guys, because what I, loved ab what I love about what he's saying here is that Silt doesn't feel like a puzzle game. There's puzzles to it, but it doesn't feel like that. Limbo felt like there were many moments where you had to figure things out. Lots of puzzles. Games like Resident Evil where you got to figure out a puzzle here or there. This, what I love is that it's almost like integrated into the experience. So it doesn't really feel like, you know, a puzzle. You're just having to possess creatures. You're having to just kind of figure out where you're going at the end of the day, but feels more of a linear experience. I love that. Now... Uh, brilliantly, these whores are not delivered with any kind of clear-eyed realism. How could uh, they be? They have uh, the frantic pen strikes and ink blots of Cyril or even Scarf's work. Something comedic in the whore, but just the slightest splinter of comedy. A smiler with a knife. Deep down, once the demo's beast had been defeated, I found something truly wondrous waiting in a cavern beneath it. I wish I could tell you about it, but you'll be glad, I think, that I did not. Silt is going to be a horrible delight. Wait for it, because it seems to be waiting for you. And guys, I think Christian really nailed it on the head on what I, ex you know, what I'm hoping to, to see and expect in this title. Obviously, guys, the full game isn't out yet. 
it's going to be coming here sooner rather than later, but I think that there's a lot to be excited about here with this title. This terrifying experience that could really raise the bar to what started with Play Dead's, you know, Limbo and Inside. This is one, guys, that could be something very special in the future, hopefully creating a, a brand new franchise, maybe one that intertwines into the Limbo universe. You never know, but there's a lot to this, guys, that we can break down. I think a lot of us are going to translate this thing differently. The way that you perceive it is going to be different than the way I perceive it as to what happens and what transpires. But with that being said, guys, let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about Silt? What are you most excited about? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more Silt content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.